I'm in. I'm out. <laughs> what up, gang? Uh, just got back from D.C., got the sick podium from the Capitol. It's a bit tall for me, but I don't think anybody will notice. <laughs> He's getting political again. I just wanted Apple News. Well, you're going to get Apple News, little baby. Let's just keep <laughs> getting past the intro, okay? What's up, guys? Sam here. Hope you guys are staying safe and doing well out there. Listen, AirPods Pro, a special edition has just launched, which is super cool. We also got some details about the new iPad Pro coming in 2021. And according to my sources, we may have time for a bonus story once again. So drop a like if you're excited, hit subscribe for more. Let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so let's start off with the new iPad Pro. What have we heard about this device so far? Really two key upgrades. And then the third one is just obvious. The third is faster processor. Wow, bet you guys didn't see that one coming. Uh, but the screen is supposedly going to be mini LED. It's going to look much more vibrant, potentially get brighter, might be more power efficient, deeper, uh, beautiful black levels in comparison to the LCD display. And we're also hearing 5G is coming. Design wise though, we're hearing it's gonna look pretty much the same. So for anybody hoping for a radical redesign, I mean, the iPad Pro was the first of any Apple device to sort of get more squared off rather than rounded. And everybody seems to be a fan of that. So I don't think that's changing anytime soon. Expect the same dual camera apparatus on the back. It's still gonna have a LiDAR sensor. Really the only thing we didn't know concretely was exactly when this iPad iPad Pro is coming. And now, courtesy of my friend and pal, fellow leaker John Prosser, we do. John has confirmed that he expects the iPad Pro to be dropping sometime this March, which perfectly lines up with the first quarter predictions that everybody else has been putting out and lines up with what Apple did last year. Like they, they announced the new iPad Pro and actually a new MacBook Air in March of 2020. So it's a safe bet for this year. My biggest question is whether or not this is going to be part of a March event. We'll be talking much more about that in the coming weeks, or if this is just gonna be a standalone release like it was in 2020. John himself is the only person so far that has said Apple would be holding a special product unveil in March. Initially, it was supposed to be for AirPods Max, and then the dates got flipped around. So we're thinking, which leads us into our next story, that uh, this iPad Pro alongside AirTags will be announced at this March Apple event. We're still talking about AirTags, yes. Even after the video we saw the other day, after months and months of this, no, they're still not out, but accessory makers are gearing up for a launch in 2021. In fact, uh, Evan Blass, a longtime famed leaker of Apple and Android alike, has shared some images of some Nomad stuff that is in the works. They are preparing, this is all internal, it's supposed to be confidential, two accessories so far. One is just a standard leather carrying case, and you can see they have a square design. The second one, really interesting and gets me excited about the future potential for AirTags applications and use cases is a, a glasses holder. So you, you've seen these before. It's like, so you can put your glasses like around your neck. So Nomad is working on one where the AirTag would, I think either go on the inside on the front or in the back and they show a circular design. Now you might say that's kind of weird, right? Like why are they showing two different designs for AirTags? I have a theory that lines up with something we heard a while back for AirTags. Love the dream best friend and famed Apple leaker said a while back that Apple was working on two sizes for AirTags, small tag and a big tag. Okay, interesting, right? But they're both gonna be the exact same size. Yeah, I think so, but maybe not. I mean, if you look at what tile, you know, arguably the most famed application of tracking accessories so far, do they have one size or even two sizes? No, they have a, a wide myriad of different things you can choose from on their website. So with Apple getting into this market fresh, it would kind of be, I don't know, bad, but maybe put them at a disadvantage if they only had one consumer facing product of one size and one specific use case rather than two or two different applications. So potentially, I think we could see a large tag and a small tag maybe looking different. And maybe all we've seen so far is the smaller circular tag. Uh, interesting, maybe this thing from Nomad means nothing. Maybe it is just a small and large version of the circle. I think that's still most likely, but I don't think Nomad for sure knows anything, but it definitely seems like they have designed for something that isn't the air tags that we've seen so far. Interesting to think about. I don't know. And yes, I wait every day just like you to see air tags actually like actually come out. The most exciting news that I've seen in the past few days though is about a new version of AirPods Pro that have launched. Now there's some really good news and some really bad news. One is 
these are available right now, a special new year version of AirPods Pro. Um, the bad news, at least based on what YouTube lets me see, is that for most of you, you won't actually ever be able to get these. To celebrate the Chinese New Year in a number of select countries, Apple has launched what I believe to be the very first version of special edition, limited edition AirPods Pro. And while they didn't pull out all the stops, I know a lot of you were hoping for something that looks like this. <laughs> Trust me, you guys will be the first people in the world to know when Apple does colored AirPods because this has been something I have been dreaming about for years. Like I am the number one colored AirPods Pro stan here on YouTube and no, they're, they're not like this yet. However, there are some special features here. First of all, there's unique packaging that appears to have a special Apple logo on one side and on the other side, there is the Chinese New Year ox icon. I believe it is the year of the ox celebrating that. So Apple said, well, what if we sort of put this in AirPods Pro? But of course the packaging would just be like, okay, you have a special box. Is that actually gonna drive any incentive? In addition to that, Apple has painted a custom Animoji slash Memoji Ox character on the front of AirPods Pro and it looks pretty slick. At first I was like, oh, you could just do this whenever. And then I realized uh, if you go to like the US configurator, you actually cannot get this variant of this character. It's like a special one just for this version of AirPods. Personally, I think it would have been really slick if they had made it red on the case or even made the case red with white accents of some kind. Um, but the version of these are, are still relatively similar. And of course, as far as like literal functionality, no, this is not like better sounding. At least I don't think I haven't tested it. I'm trying to get my hands on a pair of these, but uh, you know, they are pretty cool to look at. And I really hope that Apple brings this to like other markets in the future. I am all for special edition Apple products. Like I think there's some great potential for what Apple could do to market some stuff. They haven't done a lot of special edition stuff at all. And generally when they do it, it is for markets outside of the US. I'm not saying that I'm jealous, I'm just saying it, it would it would be cool to have it here too. So Apple, like I'm all ears if you guys have any US special edition stuff or Europe or Germany or Europe, you know what I'm saying? Just different countries, Africa, AirPods. Like there could be something cool to, to do there about like unique variants sold in different parts of the world that have meaning to the people that live there. Let me know if any of you will be picking up the special edition version of AirPods Pro and looking at the time. Guys, it's, it's, it's good news. We need some good news. We do have time for bonus story yet again. All right, you guys ready to roll with me on this one? You guys ready to start your engines? Because the Apple car is coming. Just not for a really long time. Listen, I had concerns a few weeks ago when I saw, I believe, Digitime say that the Apple car was coming in 2021. I mean, that would be a heck of a surprise to, to unveil in September of 2021, they said. <laughs> so that's when the Apple car was coming. Uh, Mark Gurman, Minchiko, and others have now given a much more concrete timeline. And by concrete, I mean no exact range, just like five to seven years from now. Mark Gurman, who is an absolute legend, put out a report today about the Apple car saying that it is an active development, that while initially this project was focused on self-driving technology only, that Apple's made decent progress there, but that they have now come to realize that they, they believe they can actually make a car. Now, I've made a whole video about this. If you guys wanna hear my thoughts about the prospect of an Apple car at all, Click up here in one of the top right-hand corners, <laughs> one of the top right-hand corners, the top right-hand corner to see my thoughts. But I mean, I think it's interesting. I am looking forward to seeing this vision come to life at some point. We'll leave it at that. Just 2025 to 2026 to 2027. That's the time frame for Apple Car. All right, and that is gonna wrap up the video. Hope all of you enjoyed it. If you did like it, drop a like down below. Hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any future Apple news. I've been Sam, hope you're doing well, and I'll catch you in the next video.